right, so it's summertime here in northern New Mexico. We found a really nice hole that we think is going to hold some trout. It's a really big hole. It's kind of deep. Joe's got his Thai salmon eggs. He's ready to make his first cast. Let's see what happens. Folks, that's trout one, Joe nothing. But I don't think I don't think it's gonna end out that way. That's just you know what? You gotta give them every, give them an egg every now and then, then they'll bite again. Look at this little guy. What do we got? Mr. Rainbow. It is a oh, little, little, really little rainbow. Getting <laughs> that tail water on the back end over there. Not bad that's a, that's a decent that's fish. A fish. Using fire floats. Small tackle, light tackle, small hook, and get these finicky fish to bite. Uh oh. If I can get him here eventually. There it is. Actually, not a bad fish. That's a, that's a good one. Got one. <laughs> There's color to this one, too. It might be a little different. Hopefully. That does it's not look one. like a little it, rainbow. That looks like a brook trout or something. It is a. I don't want to speak too soon, but. No, it's a little rainbow. That is a little rainbow. Look at that guy. He doesn't look like a stalker. No, he's a cutthroat. Cut, he's a cutthroat. Look at the look at the bottom right there. All right, let me cover with you what I'm doing right now on this light tackle setup. Really ultra light. Four pound fluorocarbon line, float, split shot, hook. Very, very simple. I'm using Taiyi eggs, also one of the least expensive eggs that we have, and actually is a great product. It works, stays on the hook, and for price point, is awesome. So what I'm doing right now is using, actually on my main line, is a peg float. This float is one of our new floats that you'll be seeing here soon. It's a larger float than we have at this point. So we actually went to this style, so in case we're in deeper water, we can get it down deeper, add some weight to it, and we don't have to worry about it sinking the float. So after that, I've got a double split shot setup, very small split shots, but it's enough to get it down deeper, all the way to a size 14 fire hook, really tiny hook. And what I'm doing is just putting two Taiyi salmon eggs on there. And here we go, balls o fire, putting two eggs, one, two, on the hook, and just casting it right out. Oh, buddy. If I can get him up here without breaking, it's not going to be easy. It's a challenge. Oh, I did it! Yes! <laughs> four pound, four pound, and then we yanked him up. All right, so Joe and I found what looks to be a really beautiful meadow, and this hole is, is fabulous. The reason why it is, it's got depth, it's got flow coming in, it's got oxygen to the fish, and Joe is going to try to pitch his new favorite egg, one of New Mexico's favorite eggs, I should say, out there. And he's gonna to try to get right along that current line. There's a little bit of shallow water right there where the fish can kind of relax. And if you see his fire float, it's right on that current line. We're gonna hope we see it go down. Come on, buddy. I know there's a fish there. I can see a fish swimming on the outside of that right there. Let's see if he's hungry. Oh God, he just came out on it. Get him. Got him, got him, he hit it. Man, I had to let him sit for a while too. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> Luckily we were gonna release that fish anyway, but it just shows you precise casting is important up here because these fish are right along that current seam, right where the fast and the slow water meet. They're just hanging out there waiting for a meal to come by. We're about to give him another one. On, he's on. Get that seam right there. The tiny eggs. And get a nice rainbow. Look at that thing right on the edge of the jaw. Quick release. Oh, there it goes. Flow down. Flow down. Oh, another one. Chase him. There's another one in there. You saw another fish? Yeah, there was another one right after this guy. Oh, it's about the same size too, but it was cool. Got him. Got him. An RV saw it too. <laughs> nice fish. Oh yeah, there we go. 
Today's episode of Podscanders comes to northern New Mexico, where we've been here many times. This is the first time we've ever been to this particular stream, and many of you guys know exactly where this is. We're real high in the high country, close to the Colorado border, right on the north tip here. And this is a place they stock with rainbow trout, very well-known spot. And today we just focused on one thing, the Thai eggs. It's, you know what, the eggs are expensive, nobody's going to doubt that. This is the cheapest egg Potsky makes, but it doesn't mean it's not the best. You know, this is a smaller egg than most, and it's perfect for small streams like this, and it's the most affordable egg you're going to find on the market. Now, Joe focused on fishing this egg. Some of the areas we fished were little canyons. Some of the areas were small little waterfalls and cascades, and some were meadows like we finished up in. But all of them had this Thai egg fished under a fire float with a fire hook. And we basically went through here, kept light line out there, and we caught and released trout after trout after trout. Now enjoy your summer here in northern New Mexico where many of these streams are being stocked on a weekly basis. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.